friends what's up happy new year i feel like i'm you, you know what this feels like this feels like i haven't seen like my best friend in like five years and i'm like just now getting to see my best friend again for like the first time and i'm just like so excited and i'm just like ah, i missed you also i'm really sorry if this angle is like kind of weird i was really trying to figure something out because um i'm sitting on the floor because we're going to make a 2021 vision board mood board just kind of talk about our goals for the year do a little catch-up moment take a very very much needed break um off of youtube for a while after vlogmas but we are now back we have so many fun and exciting ideas for like videos and stuff that i'm planning on doing this is so weird i'm like talking to my camera and i'm just like i forgot how to do this but like not really <laughs> i am a firm firm believer and like manifesting the things that you want speaking it into existence like I totally believe in that I've never actually made a mood board or a vision board or anything like that I'm very very big on Pinterest like I love Pinterest I spend all of my time there but I've never like physically made an actual physical mood board before 2021 let's do it let's really really try to manifest and put this energy out there I went to Hobby Lobby and I picked up this super cute frame I had cheaper ones but this one was like 20 bucks which wasn't too bad but I did want to get a little bit of a nicer one and this one has like silver around the rim with like white um it's like a white frame but then it actually kind of bulges out I don't know if you'll be able to see that but it like bulges out slightly so it's super super cute and I do plan on like hanging this in my room so I wanted it to be really nice I went on to Pinterest I created like a specific Pinterest board called my 2021 mood board that way I can still like add stuff to it if I wanted to throughout the year but I just kind of went on and I printed out a bunch of like photos quotes little like words and things that I really want <laughs> to manifest for my new year so we're gonna cut these out kind of put stuff together I also have glue to glue the photos on to my board but if I get tired and lazy with that I have tape so then I have my scissors so I'm excited let's let's get into it <laughs> how are you guys how has everybody been how's everyone's start to 2021 going mine was a little slow but I feel like that's a really good thing for me because very few things in my life are slow I kind of just like relaxed for a long time I didn't really do a lot of anything I was on TikTok a lot um, I had a lot of fun with that and I actually made a coffee TikTok account I made a literal entire TikTok account just dedicated to my coffee so <laughs> that's really good I actually think I'm just gonna use this exact like photo that had come in the frame because it's already the right size for the frame I'll just cut all of my photos for the mood board around like on this I feel like that's kind of the best situation to go with here but I do have to take off the price sticker because that's not cute for the mood board it was really really nice to take some time off but i am so excited have so many fun ideas for videos that i want to make content that i want to do and clothes that i want to make like i'm so excited so i'm gonna start cutting out all of like the little photos that i had printed up which this is really boring and it's just gonna be tedious for a second so i'm gonna cut all these out and then i will see you guys when i'm like starting to actually like put it together so enjoy this fun little time lapse i know you guys missed them so very much <laughs> Okay, everything is officially like cut out. I didn't like do anything too crazy. I kind of just cut out the like big like photos themselves. Like I didn't cut out any words or anything like that. I kind of want to just lay out the like photos with the background colors and all that kind of stuff and see how much like filler space I have if that makes sense because obviously like the background of the paper is white so I want to be able to like fill it up with like all the color first and see like what I can cut out what I can like make smaller etc okay let's talk about plans goals for this channel goal, like in general what the whole situation is I don't think I'm gonna have a set schedule for exactly when I'm gonna upload on this channel but 
I do plan on uploading at least two to three times a week. So I'm definitely gonna obviously like still be consistent. But I've learned that like, it doesn't seem like you guys really care about a schedule as long as there's just videos up. And it's easier for me um, because my like weeks are so, like my schedule in general and the things that I do is just so sporadic and I have so many different things going on that it's a little hard to be able to plan out every single day to a T. But I feel like if I don't have a set schedule specifically, like I have to film this day, I have to do this this day, it actually gets me more excited and um, inspired to just like pick up the camera whenever and film. But as long as I know that I have like this deadline in my head of like, okay, but I do need to get a video up. It's been like, you know, two days or it's been three days, like time to get a video up. And I'm definitely going to do that. So you're definitely still going to get videos. We're still going to be uploading a lot. Just like maybe not a set schedule. It'll probably, I'm going to probably try. I don't want to like commit to any specific schedule, but it'll probably be a new video at least like every once every like three four days is kind of the vibe that i'm going for <sighs> let's see these are like my color palette is very very like pink and like cutesy and girly which like duh <laughs> like if you're new here that's that's the vibe that we go for <laughs> okay these photos are really cute but i think i might have like made them a bit too large or i'm gonna have to do some severe like cutting things out and whatnot but you know what that's all right we can we can do that like i don't know if i should be taping or like gluing this down i'm trying to like lay it out first okay now let's talk about like the type of content that i want to like put out on this channel right i feel like there's a lot of i've been like brainstorming and trying to come up with different ideas different concepts of just like what i want to like make because i told you guys like right before vlogmas ended i was kind of torn because I really do love making like concept videos but at the same time I also really do enjoy vlogs like I love making vlogs but I feel like my life isn't like it's so unbelievably entertaining that if I vlogged every day it would be like enticing and like different content you know I was trying to think of like what I could do and I decided like Sophia there's literally no rules who says I have to stick to like one specific thing I definitely don't my YouTube channel has always been just something that I can use as a place that I can literally express my creativity and that's why I started it in the first place so I shouldn't be making some kind of guideline or rule for myself like that's literally the whole point so I decided that I'm going to film literally whatever I want <laughs> And just like not really have a set structure about it. I feel like that's the literal, like I said, whole point of YouTube is just having fun with it and being creative and just that kind of stuff. That then brought me to my next question. Okay, well then, what videos are we gonna make? I definitely want to make a lot more creative style videos. So basically, I just wanna do more videos that involve me making things and being creative and whether it's clothes, team gifts, like DIY projects like this, literally whatever. I just feel like I have such a creative brain and the creative side of my brain lives like no other when i am like doing diy projects and having fun with them if you're not following me on tiktok and stuff you wouldn't know that i just actually did a diy project with these nike sneakers i'd done the shoes for my sister for christmas those came out so so fun and it was so fun for me to do that i actually did a pair for myself and i did a tiktok on those and i literally was obsessed with them and i'm like i need to be doing more stuff like this and just being more creative and whatnot so and then I asked on my Instagram like what kind of stuff you guys wanted to see more of like four videos and a lot of you said like more DIY stuff more projects like that because they're like so fun and I'm really excited to be doing more of that obviously I'm still gonna do normal like day-to-day -day vlogs just like if I have like fun and exciting stuff to vlog which I'm pretty sure the next video after this one will be a vlog but if I don't have something exciting to vlog then maybe I can do a video where it's like something creative or artsy or something like that and definitely more stuff with like clothes and all that kind of stuff so next let's talk about the style of my my videos. I've been going back and forth on this for a very, very long time. When I first started my YouTube channel, I put effort into like the editing, but it was a lot more standard and basic and like there wasn't so much like graphics and intricate editing like there is now. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not sure or I wasn't sure what I preferred because I started with that. I used a very simple basic like fonts and stuff like that for my editing. I still made all my own graphics but they just weren't completely hand-drawn 100%. Whereas now, every single one of my graphics that goes into a video is hand-made, hand-drawn by me. So, <laughs> that being said, 
that's why it takes me a little bit longer to get videos up or to make and edit my videos. It takes me literally hours to edit because I have to hand draw every single graphic. I don't have to, but I choose to, which I love to do. I feel like it makes them so fun and unique and exciting, but it does take a lot of time. So I think what I'm gonna start to do is still all of the graphics and stuff that go in my videos and stuff, I definitely still want them to be handmade by me. I feel like that adds a really personal touch, but I think I'm just maybe not gonna do so many because that's the issue. I would literally add a graphic like at least once every minute or two, like God forbid a whole minute went by without a fun graphic popping up, but I feel like that's not really necessary. <laughs> And for the sake of being able to get more videos up, I feel like, you know what, maybe two or three graphics is more than enough for a video as opposed to, you know, 12. <laughs> Plus I feel like it gives me more time in the video to really connect with you guys and just like have that focus on the content rather than like the graphic that pops up, if that makes sense. I don't know. I don't know if any of this is making sense or if I'm just rambling for no reason. <laughs> okay, just finished the very, very first layer. This is the base layer, all of the first little photos that went down to give you guys a little like idea of what we're going for here. Everything is obviously very pink. <laughs> Hi, welcome. Here I have, this is actually a sunrise because I wanna get up consistently early every single morning or at least like try to. This is actually a pink and blue little cafe because I would love to spend more time working at coffee shops and stuff like that rather than just like at home, obviously like depending on how things are, but I would love to go and actually get work done physically in coffee shops more. I have a photo of Ariel's hair just because like I love how like healthy and like red and luscious it looks here and I just think it's like a super cute little aesthetic photo to add here. Obviously my coffee and I love the designer um, latte art. I just, we live for that. I have a Zoe Gorgeous logo here just because like I really want more things to come for the podcast and stuff like that and just grow that more. I have the little travel sign here with like all of the little arrows pointing to different places because again, if safe, I would love to travel more this year and just like see more of the world. The YouTube logo right here, obviously. I want my YouTube channel to continue growing and just like see what comes of my channel and then we have the big <laughs> money sign here because obviously we would love to have good finances and stuff in the year and then this little phrase just peachy if you didn't know like I have a thing for peaches like I'm just obsessed with peaches I think they're so cute and just like the aesthetic of them all um but I love this little saying just peachy because like peachy to me is like positive good like happiness and stuff so that's for that so now that I have this base layer here I have all of like the fun little words and stuff like that and more individually cut pieces that I'm gonna kind of just like figure out how to put and where. So now let's talk more like 2021 resolutions and like things that we want like to come out of the new year. I did a podcast episode with Bianca on this where we literally talked about all of our resolutions, goals, etc. So etc. I don't know how you like say the full thing to be honest. But <laughs> my main goals and resolutions so to speak. I really want to emphasize like my career this year and kind of figure out like where I'm going with it basically and like what I'm doing. I have so many different avenues of things that I want to do but just figuring out exactly like it's hard putting so much time the time and energy that I want to put into all the different things that I'm doing because I'm doing so many different things and I want to do all of these different things. So I really just want to focus on my career and see like where it takes me, what we do with it, all of that kind of stuff. Um, I really would like to figure out exactly what I'm going to be doing um, this year I have like three different things going on right now basically like three different jobs I want to see my endeavors blossom into fruition that I know that it can be if that makes sense I don't know I want to be more do more stuff with my creativity this year like I said earlier I feel like Again, I just have such a creative brain, I need to use it. I definitely wanna make more things, create more, however that, whatever that includes. Read more, I wanna get back into reading. I was really into it at the beginning of last year, but after like the first four or five months of the year, I kind of stopped doing that, which is annoying because I like reading, so I need to pick that back up. Um, and then obviously I wanna grow my YouTube channel. I wanna just like keep growing this little community of people that we have here. I feel like you guys are all like my BFFs and we just have like such a fun time here on the channel and I just would love to continue growing our little community. Um, I'm not really focused on numbers so much. I honestly never really have been because I don't look at YouTube that way. I kinda just look at it as like, what kind of a fun video can I make this you know, week or day or whatever. But I feel like this last year, I've 
literally like started getting to know you guys and like the comments and stuff like that and realizing that there are people who like consistently watch my videos is just so crazy so I would love to continue just growing our little family of sunshine balls like I said in Vlogmas. <laughs> that was so funny. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, so I finished gluing the last pieces on it, flipped it over, put it in the frame, and I haven't looked at it yet, but it is all done. I'm so, so excited. Let's see, ready, one, two, three. <gasps> oh, it's so cute. Oh my God, this is adorable. I'm obsessed with this. I'm going to keep this forever. <laughs> you guys are like, so we had to show us. <gasps> Look at how freaking cute! Hold on, I'll show you. I'll give you a better view in a second because of the glare. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, this is our completed mood board slash vision board. I am beyond obsessed with it. I think it came out so, so, so cute. Okay, so I told you guys about like the background already, but just to give you some like background on like the words and stuff that I chose. So a lot of the words have to do with like being just like a boss and just like, you know, finances and being creative and all that kind of stuff. I really want to tie all of that in together this year. So I have just like CEO up here, I'm the boss, future millionaire, <laughs> like all that kind of stuff because you know, like I just, I want that kind of energy. And I also have here created to create because I really think that I was literally created to create things because I don't know, it's just one of my biggest passions. I need to do more with that. And then I have here, trust your creativity. Here I have the best thing I ever did was believe in me. So as a reminder to always believe in myself, focus on the good stuff. I have, you. it kind of got cut off by the border, but I still think it's cute. It says new year, new skin. If you listen to the podcast, you know that my biggest, one of my biggest freaking resolutions is to get my skin together. And then down here I have, I don't need the internet. The internet needs me. I just think that's a, such a cute fun little quote to have there as just like a like a fun little I don't know I thought it was cute oh and then I have this little film camera because the one of my goals this year is to actually get a reusable film camera and take more photos on film so that I can be living in the moment a lot more and not focus so much on just getting a bunch of photos on my iPhone and stuff yeah oh my god you guys I think it came out so 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 freaking cute I am obsessed with this so yeah that's gonna be it for this video I hope that you guys enjoyed it I really really missed you guys I missed vlogging and making videos and stuff so so much so I'm really really excited I'm so inspired comment below any video requests or things that you want to see especially like any DIYs or like crafting or any videos like that because I'm super super into it right now thank you guys so much for watching hope that you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video bye